Studies have shown that roughly 56% of failed projects have poor communications as a factor. Whether you're presenting or just having a meeting, having strong communication skills is critical for project managers. Now, here are five essential practices to work on. Number one, develop and rehearse an elevator pitch. Be able to provide a quick 30 second message about the primary goals and benefits of your project. When asked what you're working on, what you're doing or what your project is about, lead off your response with that message. It may even be included in the opening of some presentations, emails and other messages. It should be the one memorable message you want everyone to think about and remember. Number two, practice active listening. The most effective communicators are active listeners. Focus on, understand, and appropriately respond to others communicating with you. As I like to call it, get in gear. Give verbal responses, let it be known that you're listening. Eye contact at an appropriate level. Ask relevant questions to ensure understanding and restate and reframe to confirm, to, to confirm you are correctly understanding and understood. Number three, don't make unfounded assumptions. Assumptions not based in factor logic have contributed to many project failures. For example, if there is a handoff required for a critical path task, don't assume it happened as planned. Trust, but verify. Confer confirm that it is actually taking place. Similarly, do not assume everyone agrees with you. When discussing important actions, be sure to explain your thinking to help get others on board or to raise issues if they believe something is wrong. Number four, practice acknowledgement. Always acknowledge good work, even with a simple thank you or some sincere praise. Give small rewards to high performing individuals or teams when major milestones are met. This could be something small, a $25 gift card, access to a small gift catalog, or an inexpensive team lunch. These simple acts will help build a stronger, more motivated team. And finally, keep a project deck. A project deck is a collection of all the slides from any project presentations. A project deck will help you put together new presentations quickly and ensure key messaging is maintained. Remember, less is more, so keep the number of slides and words per slide small. It's also important to keep some more detailed slides hidden in project decks just in case someone wants more information. Following these practices are sure to increase your personal and project success. If you have other practices to share, please leave a comment. And I'll see you next week for another project management tip. Thanks everyone.